Ahoy there, landlubbers and sea enthusiasts. In a groundbreaking discovery, ruins thought to be those of Atlantis have been found in the Mariana Trench, the ocean's deepest point. Finding Atlantis in the Mariana Trench is like misplacing your keys in your back pocket. You never thought to look there, but it somehow makes sense. Unveiling the Secrets of the Mariana Trench We know a lot more about the surface of the moon than we do about the ocean floors here on Earth. So far, humans have explored only about 5% of our own seas. One of the most mysterious places on the planet, apart from the Bermuda Triangle and its strange happenings, is the Mariana Trench, which is incredibly deep. The latte stones range in height from 4 to 12 feet, and some have a base column called a hology, topped with a semicircular structure known as a tassa. It's believed that these latte stones served as foundations for the ancient Chamorro people, who built wooden houses with distinctive A-shaped thatched roofs on top. These homes were typically for high-ranking families in the village, although some of the largest latte stones can be found in the interior of Guam Island, where many lower caste people lived. The ancient people who created these latte stones may have discovered them in a condition similar to what we see today, which could explain their ceremonial significance. This could be why they were incorporated into house construction. However, there's no clear, logical reason for the larger stone's existence. Some of these massive blocks weigh over 10 tons and were excavated, suggesting they may have already been buried beneath the surrounding layers when they were first created. This raises questions about their true origins and purpose, casting doubt on current theories about their age. While it's possible that the stones were used as stilts for homes, it's puzzling why a civilization capable of carving such large stones wouldn't have built their entire structures from the same material. This contradiction makes us wonder, who created the latte stones? And what were they really used for on these unique islands that once towered above the deep ocean? As we explore this ongoing mystery, it's fascinating to note that divers working for oil companies in the North Sea have discovered the remains of a submerged ancient city that once stretched from the UK to Denmark. An ancient city so huge that its population is thought to have reached tens of thousands has been discovered. A team of climatologists, archaeologists, and geophysicists has successfully mapped the area, showing just how large this lost land really was. Many experts now believe this was the true heart of Europe. This massive civilization is believed to date back about 8,000 years, and the land was submerged over several thousand years, starting around 20,000 years ago. Dr. Richard Bates from the Department of Earth Sciences at St. Andrews, who organized the Drowned Landscapes exhibit showcasing these findings in the UK, explains that the data tells the story of Doggerland, a now submerged area of the North Sea that was once larger than many modern European countries. Could these discoveries point to Doggerland as the real lost city of Atlantis? Various theories suggest that the sunken island of Atlantis was located in what is now Northern Europe. One of the most notable researchers, Olas Rudbeck, believed that Doggerland, along with Viking Bergen Island, which is thought to have been flooded by a massive tsunami around 6,100 BC, could be the actual site of Atlantis. This idea has been proposed for quite some time. Uncovering Doggerland the search for Atlantis. Back in the 1600s, some people suggested the Celtic Shelf as a possible location for Atlantis, linking it to Ireland. Over the years, many places have been proposed as the site of the sunken city, but none have revealed ruins substantial enough to support those claims. Many of these areas are too small to have housed such a vast city. However, Doggerland fits the criteria not only could it be the largest ancient civilization discovered on Earth, but it also aligns with historical research, pointing to it as a possible location for Atlantis. At one point in its history, it was submerged and is now revealing astonishing ruins 
of a once great but currently unknown civilization. Dr. Bates, a geophysicist, stated that Doggerland was the true heart of Europe until rising sea levels reshaped the UK coastline we see today. For years, we have speculated about this lost land, with bones found by fishermen across the North Sea. However, only in recent years, through collaboration with oil companies, have we been able to recreate what this lost land looked like. Initially, I thought the data wouldn't provide any useful information, but as we covered more ground, we uncovered a vast and complex landscape. Now, we've modeled its plant life and have begun to piece together a picture of the ancient people who lived there, including some dramatic events that changed the land, like rising sea levels and a devastating tsunami. This research project is a collaboration between St. Andrews and the universities of Aberdeen, Birmingham, Dundee, and Trinity St. David in Wales. I'll keep you updated on their future discoveries. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, take care. Samizagitusa Regia, in ancient Greece, was once the capital and most important military, religious, and political center of the Dacians, a civilization that thrived before their decline under the Roman Empire. This fortress, built on a mountaintop, consists of six citadels. Like many other areas claimed by ancient Rome, it shows evidence of an even deeper history. This additional evidence suggests that Samisagetusa Regia may be indicative of an ancient antediluvian site. The mysteries of Samisagetusa Regia and ancient civilizations. Once strategically built, the ruins of Samizegetusa Regia have suffered from severe weathering over time. Many of the large stones are now covered in moss, making them hard to recognize. However, one notable feature is the Solar Stone, which is a remarkable ancient artifact that has recently been cared for. This stone has a wall made of large blocks that accurately marks the north-south direction. It was also used as an ancient sundial. The shadow of the stone tells the time of day and year, showing how the sun moves across the sky. Just like Stonehenge and other ancient structures, Sarmazegatusa Regia reflects a fascination with the sun and its patterns. The builders cleverly included their understanding of the sun's changing position throughout the seasons into the measurements of the solar stone. During the winter solstice, when the days are shortest, the shadow of the solar stone would stretch to the eastern edge of the stone. In contrast, during the summer solstice, the shadow would barely touch the edge of the stone. This means that the solar stone acted as a highly accurate calendar, helping people track the seasons. These findings lead to many interesting questions. Who built Sarmizegetusa Regia? How did they know so much about the stars and the sun thousands of years ago? Some people wonder if they could be survivors of a more advanced civilization that experienced a disaster or great change. It's wide, flat terraces, large enough to support thousands of people. Professor Kimura believes the gateway stairs. In Turkey's eastern Anatolia region, there is another ancient site called Heberg, which means Fortress of Haik. According to legends, it was built by Haik, who is said to be the founder of the Armenian nation. The legend tells of Haik defeating a giant king named Bel to protect his people. This story adds another layer of mystery, suggesting that the ruins of Heiberg might be remnants of a very advanced civilization with powerful abilities. Around the world, there are many stories of ancient giants connected to various impressive sites, from Easter Island to places in the Amazon rainforest. While many ancient structures have fallen into disrepair, some remarkably crafted stone blocks still exist. These blocks are so well made that even today, modern technology finds it challenging to create similar designs. This raises questions. How did people thousands of years ago managed to create such detailed and precise structures. 
Some researchers believe that these large stone blocks were not just built by one civilization, but rather reused by later cultures. Maybe these impressive structures we see today are the result of several civilizations building upon the works of their ancestors. This idea opens up even more possibilities about what was happening in ancient times. The stories of ancient giants and extraordinary constructions found in many cultures make it more likely that these accounts are linked in some way. As scientists and historians continue to explore these ancient sites, they are uncovering more evidence about our past. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding who these people were, how they lived, and what they knew about the world around them. In summary, Sarmiza Getusa Regia and other ancient sites remind us that there is still so much we do not know about our history. They invite us to imagine a time when advanced civilizations flourished, leaving behind remarkable artifacts that still intrigue us today. As more research is conducted, we may soon find answers to these captivating mysteries, piecing together the puzzle of our ancient past. In conclusion, the idea of Atlantis being linked to the ruins found in the Mariana Trench or Doggerland opens up exciting possibilities for both history buffs and ocean explorers. With each new discovery, we inch closer to understanding our planet's hidden past. Who knows what other secrets lie beneath the waves waiting to be uncovered? If you enjoyed this journey into the depths of mystery, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.